Okay, so first of all, I have three folders here, and in each of these folders, I have a bunch of files. And I'm going to open some of these so you can see what they look like. And then I'll open another file in a different folder. And you can see that these files are laid out in the same way. They have the same columns and column headings, but all of the data is different. Then I'll close these and go back to the main folder and open up my workbook. At the moment, there's nothing in this file, so I'll go to data and get data from file and then from folder. Then I need to find the folder that I was just in and I'll select the first folder here and open. And these are all of the files in that folder and I want to combine them together and I'm going to select combine and transform data. And this here is showing me the first file as a sample file and I'll click on OK. And this opens up the Power Query Editor. And you'll see I have all of my files combined together and they're stacked on top of each other. I want to make some changes to this, so I'll start by holding down Control and selecting the columns that I want to remove. and I'll delete those columns. Then I'll take the date and time columns and I'll go to transform and merge columns. And the separator will be a space and then the new column name will be date time and OK. Then I need to transform this and change the formatting from text to date slash time. Then I'll select the first column and I'll pivot this column. And the values column will be the peak area and OK. And now I have data from all of my files combined together side by side. And this is the way that I want my data to be laid out. Now this query has multiple different steps applied to it and I want to do the same thing for the other folders but I don't want to have to redo these steps every time. So instead I'm going to copy this. I'll right click on the query name and then duplicate the query. Then I'll rename this query. So at the moment it's the 24th of September. I'm going to change it to the 26th. Then I'll click on the very first step in this list of applied steps. And this first step here is the folder path where we get the data from. And I can just change this here from 24 to 26, which is the name of my second folder and this changes the data that is coming into this query. So now if I click on pivoted column at the very end, which is my last step, you can see the date time here now is dates from the 26th of September and all of the data is different. I'll do this again, so I'll right click on the query name and duplicate it. And then we can also hover over the wheel here and click on this. And then go to browse. And then I can browse for the folder that I want, if you can't remember what the exact name is. And open. And OK. And now I'll rename this query. So this time I want it to be the 30th of September. And we can see that all of the data has again changed. So now I'm looking at numbers from the 30th of September. One thing to bear in mind is that the sample file is the same for all of these queries. So it takes the first file from the first folder and assumes that all of the other files are laid out in the same way. 
So that's something to keep in mind. If you change that file at a later date or you rename it or you move it, it's going to mess up all of the queries, not just the one for the first folder, because they're all linked to the same file. Now to get this data back into Excel, we're going to close and load. And you can see it's made three new sheets for me, one for each of my queries. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to copy a query so you can use it on a different folder. And that is everything.